Hello friends, I am Sachin. Today I am going to talk about how can we execute Postman collection using by GitHub Actions. So now we will see like what is GitHub Actions and how can we configure Postman collection and how can we generate the report in GitHub Actions. Let's start. So what is GitHub Actions? So GitHub Actions like a continuous integration and continuous delivery platform like CI/CD, and that allows you to automate your build, test and deploy pipeline. GitHub Actions similar to like Jenkins. So whatever we can achieve in Jenkins, same things we can achieve using by GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is very easy and very good to adaptable. So if you want to execute Postman collection, so what are the things we require? So I have already talked about in my YouTube videos. I have already explained like if you want to execute Postman collection using my command prompt, you require new man, you require node and npm and you create some you know reportings as well that you need to set up okay so what i did i have created my repository github repository and in this repository you can keep you know all uh, all the collections or uh, environment of the postman collection and then click on actions when you click on actions you will see the steps will call like new workflow so in jenkins we create you know pipelines and in GitHub, we can create workflows, and there we can we can mention few steps. So, so when you click on new workflow, and then you will see lots of steps, which deployment and which security or like some int continuous integration you are going to do, and just like Java plus me one, just click and it will set up. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I am just taking one simple workflow. Just I'm click on configure. When you click on configure, it will give one you know template. So this is a template. So first you need to mention the name and then on. So the, the, you can see this is the events. Okay. And it will trigger the workflow on push or pull request event, but only for the main branch because you are, you, you are mentioning here like main branch, then it will trigger when something is happening into the main branch like push or pull request okay allows you to run this workflow manually from the actions tab so this is the action like workflow dispatch it means if you are mentioning this then this workflow it will allow you to execute manually this is the job like build so it is saying like i uh, required ubuntu latest machine and this is the it tabs this check out the repository and do some steps okay so what I did, if I go here, so this is the repository if you are aware, I have shared these links in my previous YouTube videos and this is the environment and this is the collection, okay, the main collection where you can see here all, all, all the test cases. Now if I click on actions, you can see this is the one, you know, one setup I have done already. So let's see the code. What I have mentioned when you save the file right it will go inside the workflows folder and in the form like dot by ml ml and this is the steps you can see this is the name automated api test using new main cli and workflow dispatch because i am going to trigger manually and this is a job i have required one ubuntu machine because in in order to execute postman collection i required one machine i required node i required npm and new main okay and then I'm saying the check out this project when I check out right then create one directory and then here you can see this install the node in the machine and version is 16 and next install the new main and I'm installing new main globally a hyphen z mean we can install new main globally so if you're installing then you create node so node install first then this this is step okay installing new main then Usually, new man reporter select reporter that I'll cover in future. Okay, and now I'm going to cover about this HTML extra. I'm going to generate report HTML extra report that I have already covered. Okay, now I'm going to execute the test cases. So in order to in order to execute test cases, this is a command: new man run and this is a collection name hyphen e. This is the environment and hyphen r, and I want to see the log CLI and uh, going to generate report html extra and where you want to see the report and uh, the report i'm going to export and this is the command and this is the location and this is the file name html report.html 
okay and now that report i want to store in the artifacts so this is the steps okay okay so one is a user actions and upload artifacts okay and the name is reports the folder will create and the path just pick from this first artifacts i will keep inside this okay i think this is very easy to understand so first time it may take some time to understand and uh, you can refer you know some template you and this template i'm going to put in my github repository so please subscribe my this github and you can you, you can mark star as well now if you open right the actions you will see this type interface okay so this is the name you can see the same same name whatever name i have given the same name it will come here okay this is the workflows now if i click here and here you can see the steps like run workflow so i'm going to click on run workflow let's see now i'm refreshing you will see one job this workflow has started and this test you can see this test api started all right and install node create directly this all the steps it is executed one by one so install new man done now test cases are executing you can see here right all the steps all the test cases one by one report generated you can see this 30 test case pass see it was it was very fast okay if i click on here run test right it took 3.5 second only 3 second the test case has completed setup took you know few few seconds and it was it was very fast you can see this machine created on the fly test case execution done so if you come out right and uh, this is the job it executed just now so if if you click here you will see this one folder called reports right so whatever report generated it has kept uh, inside this here if i click on reports the report is going to download okay now i'm going to open this report this report just now opened and here you can see here 30 assertions done one iteration and if you click on this total request here all the test cases here you can see here and if i open one more okay and here you will see this details right what is the end point how much time it took so this i have explained already in my previous tutorial about this reporting and this is the folder for negative testing so you can see here this report it's generated very quickly using by github actions and this is the summary all right this is this is really cool feature try this feature at least one you will you will like this feature github actions this is not new i think it's very old but postman collection i tried to execute today previously i have already covered about a jenkins how can we set up you know postman collections inside the jenkins and how can we execute how can generate the report how can send the report over the mail so those i have covered already so today i have covered you know a, a postman collection execution using by github actions and in future i am planning to cover few more things like how can we set up the cron cron job so like uh, in jenkins we can execute uh, jobs periodically we can set some time like daily or you know uh, when someone posts or someone pull at similar we can we can achieve uh, in github access using my cron jobs how can we create that i'll cover in uh, you know upcoming tutorial as well as i'm planning to cover like select notification when execution complete right it will send notification on the select channel those many task is pass those many task is fail so the uh, the team who who is subscribing the channel they will get a notification so that is the current status so if you are setting the cron job when job run on daily basis it will send notification inside the select notification and some more topics i'm planning to cover okay that's what i want to cover today thank you for watching this video Please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a good day.